Carolina Distillery sits in the heart of downtown Lenore, North Carolina, and is the brainchild of three distillers, Keith Norton, Kenny Green, and Chris Hollyfield. They focus on brandy making with a special emphasis on North Carolina apple brandy. We start with uh, fresh apples here, locally grown, uh, do our own fermentation, our own distilling. They made apple, corn, strawberry, peach, wherever, whenever the fruit was in season. So it just depended on what you were making or what time of season it was, what kind of fruit you had. And apples gave you the confidence to roll out a commercial product. Why get, do you like apples? You get a lot of apples. It's hard to get a lot of peaches because they're volatile about how they sour or rot very quickly. But apples hang in there with you. And apples, we're in apple country, I think. Keep them hot or cold either way. Uh, we get, I think we got 30 some thousand bushels from Wilkes County last year. Those thousands of North Carolina grown apples are fermented and run through the locally built copper still. That looks pretty traditional to me. It is. Homemade? Is it home welded? It's, we had a, a guy in town, Chris Parsons, and he helped us put everything together, but we designed the steel and, and wanted, didn't want to use stainless because you don't get the, the flavors out of stainless. What is it about copper that makes apple brandy taste better? The well, copper kind of has a memory to it, you know, so you're, you're taking the, it kind of seasons it like a cast iron pan, you know. The Carriage House brandy recipe is a family recipe of Chris Hollifield's grandfather's. Every barrel of this brandy carries a slightly different flavor profile. Each barrel uh, ages, you get a different taste out of each one, and we want it to be unique. We want that unique because there's different people. And you'll there's, roll the dice on oh, it. Yeah. You, you know you're going to yeah. have a good barrel but of we'll brandy. Have, we'll have a bottle, a barrel that, that one person absolutely loves, and the next person's not so fond about it, but the next barrel, this person actually loves it. Every barrel of Carriage House brandy may taste slightly different, but every barrel is taste tested for quality. We pull a, uh, a uh, couple of ounces out of each barrel as it's aging, and, and we, we get it to where we like it. Do you sip it like tea and then spit it out like you see the tea testers, or do you just kind of... We're, 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 not, we're not too many spitters around here. Okay. <laughs> Carolina Distillery's preservation of old-time traditional brandy making techniques leads to a brandy that might challenge some sippers' preconceptions. Most people are under the impression it's going to be sweet, you know, because they think brandy's sweet, but traditional brandy is not sweet. It's just distilled from apples and it tastes more like a bourbon or a whiskey than it does a, a sweet apple like you'd think it would be. North Carolina's distilling industry is still relatively new, but it's certainly growing. We picked a product that didn't have a lot of competition. We see on the shelves there's a lot of vodkas and stuff, but there are very few brandies and uh, very few apple brandies at that. But we wanted to stay a North Carolina product, so everything we have comes from state of North Carolina. What made you see dollar signs here? Um, a little research and there was very little history, if any, as far as uh, failure. If you actually made a decent product, put it in the market and maintain the product the quality, uh, you're going to make some money in the long run. It's turned out to be such a, uh, a great addition to our downtown community. Uh, obviously a very, very touristy kind of thing. People uh, are intrigued by coming here to, uh, to see a distillery in a, in a downtown like we have here. Kenny, Keith, and Chris say business is growing for the Carolina Distillery. The Carriage House Apple Brandy sales are rising and the product is being distributed throughout America. The company is even launching brandies made from other fruits. Company growth is a goal, but conquering the mass distillers is not in the plans. We don't really consider it a competition between us and the big boys. Yeah, we're trying to bring back the craft industry uh, on distilling. Uh, where it's got lost over the years. Uh, a lot of the craft distilleries got put out during Prohibition and just never came back. It appears North Carolina's 21st century economy will be making room for the return of small distillers and places that need jobs in old buildings that once housed businesses no one dreamed would leave town.